Want to see the world's first data storage robot? We unbox the Drobo right after this. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Unboxing Live. I'm Andrew Edwards, and this is the show that brings you vicarious thrills through opening new gear. Today we're gonna to be opening up the Drobo Data Storage Robot. If you're unfamiliar, the Drobo is basically uh, a device that allows you to store massive amounts of data that is backed up and protected, and uh, uh, it's just very cool. So let's just start jumping right in, and you'll see what I mean. So uh, opening up this first box, Right there, I don't know if you can see that. It says, welcome to the world of. So there's a little surprise, obviously, waiting for us in the depths of this box. So let's see if we can get to that somehow, to the rich prize. All right. Drobo, the world's first storage robot. There's some uh, quick instructions on how to get it started and it's obviously very easy. Insert drives, connect USB and power, hook it up to your computer and uh, you're pretty much uh, set to start droboing. There's a guide showing how to use the thing and a user's guide with a resource CD for Windows and Mac so it works uh, cross-platform. We have the power cable, the USB, and what's in here? The other half of the power. So there's the power brick. So you just hook those up like so. And you have your power. Let me move this box out of the way here. And look in there, look at that. That's the Drobo, as you can see. Who's minding the storage? I don't know. No one is right now. We don't have a Drobo hooked up yet. So we uh, pull the Drobo out. And uh, remove these uh, crazy styrofoam uh, flaps, shipping flaps. By the way, I know it's the little touches, but isn't that... Uh, Nice black interior, pretty cool. I think so. So let's move that over there and start uh, unwrapping the Drobo from its high-tech napkin. Move that. And that's the device, that's the Drobo. So this, one, this can sit on your floor or on top of your desk and just start backing up. You can use it for backup, you can use it for storage, you can use it for both. This can hold uh, as much data as you can, as you know, as much as four hard drives can hold, basically, because that's how many hard drives it holds. So first, let's just pull, peel this plastic. Whoa! I'm trying to peel the plastic off, and I opened it. All right. So I'll put that right there for now, and I'm going to do the same on the back here. Move that. So first, the back. You see the uh, USB port and the power port right down there at the bottom. There's a locking mechanism there and then the fan which cools all four hard drives. Now let's look at the front of the uh, Drobo where I'll, I'll remove the plastic piece here. Um, actually, there's, there's even some instruction on the back there. So as you can see, um, it shows you basically the status of each of your, uh, your database, which you have four. If things are going fine with that specific bay, see a green light. If you need to add a hard drive, you'll see yellow. Don't remove drives, you'll see a blinking um, green yellow. That means there's some activity going on. Add a drive here red and drive failure replace blinking red. So if your drive dies, it'll be blinking red. You can actually remove that drive, place another one in and you haven't lost any data. Um, and then add a drive here soon just means you're running out of space. You might want to add more storage to your Drobo. Now, let's take a look. Read me. 
So they really want you to understand this product before you just jump into it. Um, and that's because there might be a, a firmware upgrade or a software upgrade. Um, they want you to register it as well. Um, and again, this is backup, so you don't want to play around with this. You actually want, you know, you want your data to be secure and safe. So here you can see we have the four bays. And I actually have not read any of this, so uh, I'm going against the rules. But we have some hard drives here. Just to show you how they work. We're not going to be uh, flipping the switch or anything in this video, but I figured we might as well show you uh, how we put a couple of hard drives in there. Um, but we will do a full review of these things um, on Bleeding Edge TV and on Gear Live itself. So let's just take a hard drive here. What do we have here? A Hitachi Desk Star. This one is 320 gigs. Some nice silicone gel there. Don't eat that. <laughs> There's your drive. So let's just put this right in there and hopefully I'm doing this correctly. I'm just gonna slide it into the uh, top bay and push it in. And as you can see, we just put in 320 gigabytes of storage into the Drobo. Now we could just use it just like that, but when we uh, start running out of space or if we just want a ton of space, you can throw in a second drive. It doesn't have to be the same manufacturer. It doesn't have to be the same size. In fact, this one is a Seagate, and this one is 400 gigs. So same thing. Have another bay there. Just slide it in. And now data will actually, the Drobo will actually start um, putting the data on both. So if one of these dies, um, the other one will have have the data on it. Now obviously if uh, the 400 gig one dies, you're not going to have 400 gigs worth of uh, data on the 320 gig one. So you know, the more you fill this up, the better. And as you do that, you can start you know, removing your smaller drives and putting even bigger ones in and the Drobo will automatically configure all that stuff. Um, you just go like that and you can see the lights through it. So again, we're not doing a review here today. Just wanted to give you a, an unboxing and show you how the Drobo looks and works. Very sleek and slick, as you can see. Um, but there's more. Check this out. Drobo Share. So aside from just hooking this up to your computer, now you can share this with your entire network. Let's open this up. Drobo Share. Share your world, as you can see. Quick instructions again. Shows you how to hook the Drobo Share up to the Drobo itself. And you can hook this up to a wireless router or to your home network by uh, Ethernet, whatever you choose. I'll take this out of here. And this is the Drobo Share. Very small. Not much to it. I'll take that off again. More README instructions. Um, but the Drobo Share sits beneath the Drobo. Let me move that over there. Move that over there. Put that there. And the Drobo, the feet actually just fit right in the Drobo share, just like that. So it doesn't take up that much more space. And let me show you the back. So there on the Drobo share, you see they have the Ethernet port, a couple of USBs, and then the power adapter. And you can actually hook up two Drobo. So the Drobo hooks up to this via USB. And if you have a second Drobo, you can also hook that up here to USB as well and share two, two fully stocked Drobos with your entire home network. And you can stream media from the Drobo, you can back up to the Drobo, whatever you want to do. It's just a huge storage system. So very cool and very smart. We'll let you know how it works again on Bleeding Edge TV. So check out video.gearlife.com for an update. But until next time, I'm Andrew Edwards and that was Unboxing Live. Stay tuned next time for more vicarious thrills through opening new gear. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Unboxing Live. I'm Andrew Edwards and this is the show that brings you vicarious thrills through opening new gear. Today we're gonna to be opening up the Drobo Data Storage Robot uh, System. Crap. Crap. 
weight 